All right, we're out here with the Fummins, the Enclosed, and the LS Miata. It's the first time we've taken this thing to the track, the trailer to the track in a while. We've been driving the Sephiro a bunch since I got it done, but I blew it up. So don't have anything to drive but the old LS Miata. Plus, we've got a big event coming up uh, that I really want to make sure I, I get there and the car's good. So since I haven't driven this thing in a couple months, I haven't taken it out of the trailer at home since round five of Clutch Kickers. Uh, I wanted to shake it down run a couple sets of tires through it and make sure that it's it's all good to go we'll probably end up running three or four sets but we got we got a good bit of tires for the next event but i just want to i just want to make sure she's all good she's sorted she's been sitting with the 85 in her and yeah basically a shakedown slash just drive i haven't driven in a bit besides the Safira, which i mainly drive solo so uh we got a ton of tires though we got i want to say 20 nitto neogens did i order yeah i ordered 20 nitto neogens 205 50 15. these are really good fun event tires if you're on a 15. tried all the the neogen or the, all the 205 50s i could find for this car and these have the most grip per life like they last the longest and they still have really good grip so might be not enough for some of these guys out here uh running much bigger tires but i think we air them down we'll be all right i have a set of my 225 nt01 comp tires on the car but we're saving that for for next weekend Brand new, last set. It's the last set of comp tires I have for this car. It might be the last set of tires I ever, comp tires I ever get for this car. Who knows though, I say that, and that all is contingent on me getting the uh, Corvette build done, which we need to be working on that, but couldn't resist an opportunity to come drive the, the old LS Miata. So we're gonna get tires swapped, check everything, and uh, hopefully go have some fun. analogy I have for this is it's like if you share a bathroom with someone and or multiple people and you're sitting there thinking I'm gonna take a shower soon I'm gonna take a shower soon and you don't go and you don't go and then finally someone goes and you're like shoot I was gonna go they should have known I was gonna go it's like the exact same thing <laughs> it's literally the same thing way longer. 
Dog had some life. Yeah, they got pretty good life. That's exciting. The only thing I hate about this layout is like that last turn. It's like you kind of can't really There's handle it. There, yeah. tires down is just to help make them last longer. When tires start to get hot, they degrade much quicker. And this isn't so much of a problem at like a normal event where you've got 10, 15 minutes between each run. But at a private day, we're kind of hot lapping. We're going run after run after run with max of like three minutes in between each run. So it's crucial to cool them down to make them last. If you just go out there and bang lap after lap after lap, they won't last half as long as they could, if not more, than if you cool them down. All right, so we're gonna add a third person into our little tandem group here, but he had some sort of issue with his car, so I was just kinda sitting there waiting by myself, and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do a solo lap, and on this solo lap, I drive it like I'm not worried about conserving tires. You'll notice the difference between every other lap where I tried to conserve my tires, and I'm, I'm light on the throttle in this lap. Just, just watch. <laughs> probably noticed how much more smoke there was. Smoke is pretty much a direct relationship to wheel speed, how fast your wheels are spinning, especially compared to your vehicle speed, and angle. And more angle, more wheel speed, more smoke means faster tire wear. I just started breaking up so I waved off. What? Oh yeah, I figured.
done. They were done when when you had pulled off. Yeah. I did a solo lap where I just stayed on limiter yeah. and I killed them in that one lap. The next Dang. two laps, they were just ice. I had nothing that run, and then to make matters worse, when I went two, three, I missed it. I heard it.
went ahead and got the Elvis Miata out of the trailer. She is long overdue for some much needed maintenance. It has been a while. This thing hasn't received any maintenance since before round five of clutch kickers. So battery's giving us issues. It needs an oil change. It definitely needs a bath. It is, uh, she's had better days. Let's just say that. So I want to go through it, clean it up, uh, and go through, you know, make sure all systems are go, make sure everything's good, everything's happy, because the next thing we are driving in about a week is a really exciting opportunity that I do not want to miss out on. It should be a lot of fun. It should be a good learning experience. It should be, it should be really cool. So I wanted to make sure the car was ready to go. That's when this private day popped up. I was like, jumped on it because it was a good way to go test the car, make sure she's still happy, she's still operational uh, before we head down to the next thing. So, so far all is well. And uh, you know, all in all, I had an absolute blast. This car, man, it's so much fun to drive. It's been a long time since I've driven this at just a fun event tandeming. It's all, it's been comp, comp, comp lately. I haven't really done any fun tandems with this thing in so long so it was it was refreshing it was definitely a really good time this is it's such a good little car man it just it, it's a very well balanced setup overall and it, it's just a blast to drive so anyway um either way i had a ton of fun i cannot wait to drive it again uh but in the meantime we need to get working on the vet build the ls miata's replacement if we uh actually wanted to replace the car we actually got to get it done so need to dive into that and then we're going to be going to a really cool event so i hope to see you guys for all of that but for now that's going to be it thanks for watching thanks for subscribing goodbye